All right, this is the uh, Tennessee end of course practice test uh, for Algebra 2. Question number 45. The question says, if g is not 0 and h is not 0, which expression represents this quotient? Which, of course, means divide. Why would they even bother with the g equals 0 and h equals 0 thing? Because if they were 0, you'd be dividing by 0. That can't happen. So obviously, they throw those exceptions in there for you. Now, the reality of the situation is I can break this problem up into three little separate mini problems. Instead of racking my brain around this whole set being divided by three, what I'm going to do is break it into three little smaller problemettes, I guess. I'm going to look at them individually, and then I'm going to, the next one, sh spoiler alert, I'm going to do negative 18 g to the eighth over uh, h to the second over 3 g to the fifth h to the second, and that's where it's headed. Anyway, the reality is when I'm working with numbers and exponents, they're treated a little bit differently. Let's look at the order of operations for two seconds. Of course, order of operations starts out with uh, parentheses, and then I go to exponents, and then I go to multiply and divide and then I go to addition and subtraction. Multiply thinks it's better than divide, it's really not, they're all on the same level, that kind of thing. Now, with my integers, whatever the problem tells me to do, that's the operation that I use. So when it says 15 divided by 3, I'm good with the fact that that's 5, that works normally. Now exponents are a little bit better, at least in their own minds, they're kind of snooty. They think they're better than integers, and in a way they are, because they can't be touched by the operation that you're doing to the integers. They do, they get one less. It's like they're kind of, uh, there's like a shield between them, so when you're trying to throw a multiply at them, they're like, oh no, no, all we're willing to do is add. If I was adding them together, uh, multiplying the integer numbers, I would add the exponents. So say I had 4x squared, times 3x to the third. I would multiply the numbers, but the two good for everybody else exponents, I would be adding them so I get x, uh, 3 plus 2 gives me x to the fifth. In this case, I'm just dividing, so it's very similar. The only difference is, instead of dividing, I'm going to subtract those exponents. So when I look at my g's, I figure out that g to the eighth is bigger than g to the fifth. I'm going to subtract 8 minus 5 to give me g to the third power. Uh, similarly, on my h's, my 4 is bigger than my 2. Usually in my head, I circle the bigger one to remind me what side of that fraction that it's actually going to pop up in. So if h to the fourth was on the bottom, I know that my answer ends up underneath this 5g to the third. But fortunately, h to the fourth is on top. 4 minus 2 gives me 2. So my first term is going to give me 5g to the third, h to the second. Now I'm going to look at my next little problem ed, I think is what I called it before. So I could get rid of some of my equations, and as soon as I write this, I'm going to show them to you. But I got it in my head that I needed to write this down next. So you can start eliminating problems right now. If it doesn't start out with 5, it's gone. So this 12 garbage, that's out. And this is out too, like jeggings, I would hope. Anyway, um, so my next set, I'm going to do divide negative 18. Divided by 3 gives me negative 6. Uh, then I'm looking at g sub 8 is bigger than g to the fifth power, so 8 minus 5, because remember, less than divide is multiply, I'm working with exponents here, so I get g to the third power, and for my h's, I'm left with them being the same, so that means they cancel, because 2 minus 2 is 0, in case you didn't hear that rumor. So my second group would be 6g to the third, which means that b has to be out because it's got an h in there for some reason. So my only answer that I'm left with is a, but in the interest of completion, one of my uh, co-workers is a OC, it has real serious OCD, so I'm going to finish the problem just for him. So I'm going to do 15 g to the fifth, h to the third, over 3 g to the fifth, h to the second. Once again, I'm going to divide the numbers, so I do 15 divided by 3, shockingly it's 5. Then I'm dealing with my g here, the worst g's ever, they look like y's, and why not is what I say. They're the same, so they eliminate, so b is still wrong, it's even more wrong than before with more wrong than ever before. And I look at my h's, 3 beats 2 any time, so 3 minus 2 gives me 1, so I'm left with 5h. So my final answer would be 5g to the third, h to the second, minus 6g to the third, plus 5h. But my suggestion to you is you break it up a little bit, remember that exponents think they're so much better than integers, and then just work it out that way. Good luck.